Our journey continues in the mountain town of Breckenridge. It's a ritzy but cozy region of Colorado. And we spent a few days here to catch up with a few friends we traveled with to Antarctica last year. One, two, three. Sure, Breckenridge is a beautiful town. And today, we started off by exploring the town center. Such a beautiful day today, and we are trying to figure out how to pay for the parking here. And of course, nothing comes free as far as parking in Breckenridge, but you can actually pay with the machine or the app. And this shouldn't be that expensive. It's about 50 cents per hour or something like that. You know, it's really cheap. Hannah, where did you go? Yeah, good puppy. All right, let's go. We are currently in the main street of Breckenridge and this whole section of the street actually closed off because they are allowed all the uh, restaurants to spill over the street just for the COVID and everybody just tried to help local business. So that's actually probably a good thing. So this is a pedestrian only road right now on Main Street. The great thing about Breckenridge and I think Colorado in general is that the whole state is so dog friendly, meaning that you can have like dogs in like patio and everybody loves dogs here. So we have Kana, as long as on her leash, it is allowed to be here. And of course, as you can tell, this is a mask mandatory area. Even though you're just walking out in this area, you have to wear your mask. And it is absolutely enforced. Except when you're eating. We decided to have lunch at one of Breckenridge's popular establishments. Flipside Burger. You have a smartphone, you can get up the food menu, um, or you can go to the website. If that's not working out for you, you can just ask for a paper What's a good burger? Oh, They're all good. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah. Fries out first. There you go. Thank you so much. Nice some onion rings. There you go. And boy, it is a very tasty burger. So what do you think of Main Street? It's nice. Street? This is great. $50 for two burgers is a bit much, but it was good though, <laughs> especially yours. It was the beers and the fries. Also worth mentioning is that Kana had a great time meeting other dogs. All right, look at all tangled. So cute. <laughs> Back at the house, we need to burn off those calories from lunch. Let's go up for a hike. Michael and Kana decided not to come along, so it's just us, a couple more folks. Randy and Donna has a property way up in the hill, and that's where we're gonna head up next. That's their property number one. Eventually, we're gonna go all the way up there. The route to get there, ooh, I'm already out of breath, kind of crisscrossing. Keep in mind, this is almost 10,000 feet, so the air is thinner here, but I think we're gonna make it. The thing about this high of elevation is that the sun is very intense. I have a darker skin. I feel the sun is just kind of beating on me much intensively. And it is so dry up here, my skin starts to crack. Therefore, we bought skin lotion to soften it up. And of course, I forget to put it on. Look at that. You be the pace man. Oh, I don't work fast enough to be the pace man. Don't take that. Exactly. That's exactly. Why I, work. I got, I got exactly. this. Exactly. It's absolutely like beautiful. Striking, That's where we stay. Throughout Colorado, especially here in Breckenridge, they have a program. It's called the Thinning Out Landscape Program, I think. Occasionally, thick forests need to be thinned out by selectively cutting a few overgrown trees, preferably the sick ones, to allow room between trees. This practice encourages growth of other vegetation off the forest floor, such as aspen, shrubbery, and other small plants. That's why you get a lot of these cut down trees, seems like, throughout the hike. That also prevents forest fire. 
which I thought would be interesting for everybody to know that logging in some places is actually a good thing or as Randy said it it's like a tinder box plus they're a fire hazard and then you get all this and also this, some uh, of these nightmare. trees have some kind of insects live in them so there's a disease that they try to fight therefore you just kind of have to cut the dead trees down and hopefully not to spread the infestation the, uh, of the bugs and, and kill everybody. Spruce and yeah. things like that That's our final destination. Donna and Randy want to move up here because they have a lot more unobstructed view of the valley, which is true. But at the same time, the first property is not a bad looking property either. Really, you don't have anything to clip off to. They did put a balcony, temporary balcony around the edges. I know that. What's the elevation here? And four right there, finished floor, level one is 9680. I'll kind of give you all the quick tour. These two columns, Randy took us for a quick tour around the structure, right there, you know, sharing his vision of so what goes, would be their ideal home in Breckenridge. So I was level, very impressed. Hey, that was fabulous sound there. There's nothing wrong with this. No doubt this is going to be the best property in the area. You get a 180 degree view and you can see all the ski slopes. You can see all the valley all the way to I-70, which is seven miles away. And fresh, it's a fresco. I think yeah, a town called Fresco, which is supposed to be next to the lake. But you can see it from here. And no house can be ever built in front of this house. Really, really cool. And this place will be done in one year. Yeah. We're gonna come to visit with <laughs> our- Exactly. Exactly, a year. <laughs> with our RVs. It's definitely one of the best neighborhood in Breckenridge. This house cost at least three million dollars. Woo! But the view is incredible. It's absolutely incredible. And I can't wait to be back next year to check out the new house. We're hiking back down now and the wind starts to pick up. Hopefully it's not going to rain before we get back to the house. But this is absolutely stunning, don't you think? That's really, really nice. It's always great to catch up with friends after not seeing them for such a long time. No, I just figured it out. I just got it. I'm about to get a glass of wine here. But he had a little throw on it. was like a hotel. And watching the sun set over the mountain from the back deck wasn't bad either. We had a great time with our friends Randy and Donna. Cheers, right. everybody. Cheers. 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 Cheers to unexpected reunions. I just, I just, I just, Our good stay in Breckenridge is closed off with a very beautiful night. Watching the sky around a campfire. Our exciting journey continues, so make sure to subscribe to our channel for more adventures and hit the notification bell too. Thank you for watching. Something I learned that muffin just doesn't have that little top thing in the altitude when you bake it. Well, good morning from... That is really messy. Really so. dirty, yeah.